A certain scientific railgun is a fun show. It just feels like anime. It's like if you took everything that makes anime anime, combined it into one anime, you would have railgun. It has action suspense, but also some comedy and slice of life, and a touch of romance sometimes. Not to mention fan service, because it's anime, so it has to. It spans the emotional gambit, too, with it mainly being an optimistic story, though also having some very dark moments. I just had a lot of fun watching the first two seasons back in 2019. It's just like it took me back to the core of what anime was, the core of why this type of storytelling appeals to me so much. And I was pleased this year to see that season three did not change that. Both arcs, the festival arc and the dream ranker arc, had a lot that made them special. There are lots of cool acts between different sides all fighting for what they wanted. One of the things I think really helps Rogan is how slow it is at first for each arc. Typically shows like this are remembered for the big battles and yeah, they were here, they were cool, they were fun, good and all that. But it is the more subtle scenes, like the calm beginning of each arc that helps them. The slice of life scenes in Railgun really do a lot to ground the characters and the world. These characters are not superheroes, but they're just people going through life, going to school, enjoying time with friends, and they occasionally use their powers to do cool things and help people and maybe save the world. But they are people first and their powers and all that second. I especially liked the first few episodes at the start of the Dream Ranker arc that took the focus away from Misaka and just showed like a day in the life of the other characters as they get roped into strange things. Granted, there is Misaka's whole interest in the bust upper card, which was uh, hilarious. Yes, I find it funny, whatever. It might be immature, but this is anime. What do you expect? Granted... Actually, pretty much any time Railgun wants to be a comedy, it does it very well, better than most pure comedies out there. And another thing I liked about the season was the focus on supporting characters. Yes, Misaka is of course at the center point of everything, but I liked how Kongo and her friends got a chance to shine in the festival arc in a way they hadn't at that point. It was like they were there, but they were just like background material, nothing there to like drive the plot forward. But I liked like seeing them have an episode or two for them to fight. That was cool. And adding Misaki to the cast was a great addition. It's always fun seeing an arrogant character just show up who thinks they're better than everyone else because they are and just manipulate everyone. <laughs> That's fun, and I like the rivalry between her and Misaka too. <laughs> I really hope they have like more battles or whatever. And I enjoyed Scavenger a lot in the Dream Ranker arc. They were interesting enough in Accelerator, but they seemed to be just like a villain for that arc. But seeing them back here just added more to it. And I think they could be some really interesting characters that they are given the chance to develop more. Especially as they turn from villains to more maybe like anti-heroes. They have a lot of hatred for the city and society, and that's kind of similar to Misaka in some ways, so I think they could find some common ground, but also maybe clashing some too, like different degrees of how extreme their thoughts are with things. Could be very interesting, plus they're just likable underdog villains, and we need more characters like that. And yeah, it may seem strange I'm not talking about the battles themselves because, well, they were really good, but in a way it's because that's what is expected. You expect to hear certain things from an action show, and, well, Railgun delivers as expected there. There's also the fact that it's been a while since I saw those, so I can't do an analysis off the top of my head, and I don't have time to rewatch those, because the 12 Days of Anime is a thing that requires lots of videos in a short amount of time. Oh yeah, welcome to day 7, 8, 8, I think, of the 12 Days of Anime. Yes, I'm talking about Railgun for today. But really, the thing that makes Real Gun stand out isn't the cool fights, but it is the bigger story told through these individual stories. And it's the foundation, the characters, the small moments, the ordinary moments in the lives of these characters that give it this foundation and that lets everything build upon each other to create something far greater than any one story or arc or even series can do on its own. Though I am sad there'll probably be a long time till I get a season 4 since the next arc isn't finished in the manga yet, and the manga only comes out monthly. It's painful waiting for season 4. And of course it's a show I like a lot. Oh well, I'll go watch Index Season 3 at some point. But yes, thank you for watching, and tell me what did you think of this season of Railgun, or just the whole franchise as a whole. Uh, no manga spoilers, and no Index Season 3 spoilers please in the comments, because, well... 
I don't want spoilers. <laughs> Thank you for watching, though, and I will talk to you next time.